I did a test on buoyancy foam. The results are sure not what I expected. Keep watching. What we're going to do today is I'm going to take some of this buoyancy foam here and this is actually where it code it came up and it was too tall and I cut it off so if the cells were sealed be, because of the top they're open now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh each piece then we're gonna put it in the water here and bring it back out just to see if any of the if it picks up any weight just from the pores in it and then I'm gonna resubmerge it and then we're gonna come back and probably about a week and let's weigh it again. So let's go. My first piece of buoyancy foam, this is the one that we're really gonna do. Two hundred and thirty-eight grams. So let's see what our other one is. That is 44 grams. If it ain't the roosters crowing, it's the birds. Okay, I'm gonna push this under. I suspect it's going to weigh a little more because of the, just because of the water on it now. Well, 284, 286. And it was 238 before. So we're going to write 286 wet. Let's test our block. I'll push it under. About 106. And that block before was 44. Okay, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this one in. I don't know if it matters face up or face down, but we're gonna leave them there a week. I put this one in. I'm gonna set this in on top of it. I got this piece here I'm gonna put up here just so when I set something heavy on there, it, it submerges this one all the way down. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay this there. Okay, it's under the water. He thought he was going to miss out. All right, well, we're going to come back in a week, and we're going to see how this does. Keep watching. Okay, it's been one week since we've uh, submerged our foam here, seven days. So uh, I'm going to take it out and see if we're absorbing any water or if it still weighs the same amount as it did when we put it in there. So let's take a look. Well, it still floats. The white piece of foam weighed 44 grams dry and it weighed 106 after we wet it. So we've got the scale zeroed out here. So let's see what, now it has just come up out of the water. It's been totally submerged. It does seem noticeably heavier, so I'm just going to let it drip for a minute, just get it off the outside. Okay, let's see what we got. 
272. Zero it out. Okay, we're at zero. Here's the test. This is the one that we wanted to see. And I can tell you right now, by the looks of things, it looks like it's saturated that far up. But let's see what it weighs. Three hundred and seventy-four grams, and it weighed two eighty-six last time. But well, you can see both of these foams absorbed water after being submerged for a long time. What I will say on the foam here. This, this is the regular foam for putting in for buoyancy. It's the Coast Guard approved two pound foam. On this piece of foam here, it doesn't look like it absorbed water through the foam. It looks like it absorbed it because I cut it off because I had got too much. I probably would have been better off not to do that. Only put so much in that it just comes up and then stop it at there than to open the cells of the foam. But I will seal that up before I seal that in the boat. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on future videos you'd like to see, just let me know. And uh, I'm going to put some fresh water in here. Drop the foam back in. I'll weigh it again in a month and then I'll put the note down below. So just go ahead and check, it, check back with us.